Or Harry Simon is still the WBO light middleweight champion. And he's a good one too. But it was a heroic effort. It really was from Wayne Alexander for as long as it went. Yes, it was. There's no complaints from Alexander. He'd been hurt with uh, the body punches. Probably a good time. He didn't allow Alexander to get hurt too much. Pulled him out quickly. He could tell that he was beginning to wilt and he was starting to get hurt. And Alexander, it was a good effort. You know, I think he'd have liked to have had more time, obviously, to get ready for it, but he still didn't disgrace himself. Well, you heard him say in the interview beforehand that he was on a very good payday coming in at such short notice, and he should have been. I tell you what, he earned every penny and more. Yeah, he did. He had a, a good goal. He tried to get the shots. At one point, he did manage to hurt Simon briefly, but Simon showed himself a very mature, good champion who just upped the tempo when need to be. He said it would be a very easy fight for him. I don't think you could quite put it in that category, could you? No, well, he's having a silent prayer there. I think he's glad that that one's over. He had to take a few heavy punches himself. His camp now will be trying to engineer a big, spectacular fight for him in America that could really make his name. Yep, the body punches. That one just on the borderline a little bit, but then the right hand finding the gaps, and then the good one left hook around the side. That one very hurtful. And I thought this was a good stoppage by Paul Thomas. He could see the way the tide was going. He knew Alexander had come in late, and he didn't want him to take too much. Yep, I think that's right. I think you know, Alexander didn't complain. You know, he knew it was getting all a bit hard in there. Simon looking fresh, good right hand there, starting to you know, really let the shots go. Yes, yeah, good refereeing, because only one thing was going to happen if it had gone on, and that was Alexander would have got hurt some more, and he's got plenty of his career left. That's right. And, uh, you know, that was good. He got a shot at world title level. He knows what it's all about. You know, more experience he can do better. He's been in with Simon. He knows how far he needs to improve. Good workman, like performance from Simon, puts his shots together well, looking for the finish. He knew he had Alexander, he knew he had to step it up, step it up then. It really was a shootout, wasn't it? It's particularly those first three rounds. First three rounds are very good. That was Alexander's best opportunity. When he didn't get him then with a big shot, when Simon was in front of him, you knew his chance was slipping away. He nearly floored him with that big right hand, but he didn't. And maybe at that moment, Alexander was starting to think, well, these big punches that knock out the domestic guys just don't work against this fella. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 43 seconds in round number 5. A referee in charge, Paul Thomas, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and still the WBO junior middleweight champion of the world, Harry Simon. Well, he was uh, taken to the gym initially as a boy when uh, a local trainer saw him in a street brawl and thought he would make a champion boxer. He wasn't wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand of recognition? A fine effort here tonight to the challenger, Wayne Alexander. Alexander has done himself no harm here tonight, but Michael Gomez will be the next of our hopes to try to break into world class, and he might be interested to know Sam, uh, Alexander's fate tonight. Gomez in action at super featherweight next against Laszlo Bognar from Hungary. It's a big chance for Bognar back in the spotlight tonight, but if Gomez really is going into world class, he needs to get the job done, and that one's coming up very shortly now. Well, the dream it doesn't come true, 24 hours notice, but it was a heroic effort, Wayne. You gave everything you had. Yeah, I tried my best. You know, he took some very hard shots of me. I'm um, not making no excuses, but my right hand went in the third round. I could punch with the full strength in the right hand. But Harry Simon's a great champion. He, you know, he hit me with some good body punches that slowed me down. You took him into your type of fight, the sort of barroom brawl, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that was it. That was my plan, to mix it with him and catch him with one of my you know, short hooks inside. But he took them and 
close to him. You nearly had him in that second round, you seemed to wobble him, but once he'd taken that, were you disheartened? Um, a little bit, I suppose, because you know, normally when I catch a guy, they go. But that shows you, um, you know, the level you've got to be to become a world champion. But um, I'm still British champion. He's a class act, isn't he? Very, very fast. Yeah, very fast and hits hard as well. So, you know, he's got it all. And no excuse about the stoppage, the right no, time. No, no, no excuse. I was hoping to um, end the round and then, like, you know, pull out with, with, with the hand. I think I might have broken my right hand. But, you know, he won the fight fair and square. Are you glad you went through it? Prove yeah. that you belong maybe in world class? It was an experience, yeah. I think um, I'm world class. Don't you think, Frank? More than world class. You know, he took it 24 hours notice. He's supposed to fight in two weeks' time. And he, he had the guy going in the second round, hit him with a good shot. And Harry Simon is a good fighter, but he's a good fighter, and he'll learn from it. It's only his 16th fight now. Went in at a, a little bit of deep end, but he is world class. And I know he will come back and he'll go on to do bigger and better things. I'm sure you'll learn from the experience. Wayne, unlucky tonight. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Ladies.